What's up guys? Today we're going to do some maintenance on the Quantum Optic 60. If you ain't ever messed with these reels or took them apart, you might order to stick around on this episode of Hack to Fish. Today, I was out doing some maintenance on some rods and stuff. I got a few rods already done and everything, but I came across this Quantum Optic 60 I use for bank fishing, throwing live minnows, big bluegills, stuff for flatheads. Now, it's really kind of stiff. It's really dirty. So, I'm going to take it apart today and show you how I maintain my reels. Let's get to it. Alright guys, first thing you want to do, you need your little parts container. And I'll show you why you need this parts container here in a minute. But, let's go ahead and start taking this thing apart. First, you want to take the spool off. And I'm going to go ahead and clean it. I usually use alcohol to clean most of my stuff because it after so long it deteriorates and you don't have any leftover residue or anything it evaporates and it's gone but take a look on the inside of this thing right here really stiff i've had this reel for about about three years now and I've kind of put it to the back of the building because I've been using another one over here in the corner that I've been doing a little bit more fishing with. But my wife, she usually uses the spinning reels. She don't use the casting reels that much. But actually, she was one of the first people that taught me how to use a casting reel about four years ago. She got a lot of patience that way. Get most of this mud and everything off in here. Clean the inside of it a little bit. Starting to look a little bit better. Alright. Now we got it somewhat cleaned up and looking a lot better. What you want to do set this down take you some gun oil and spray it in the top of it now what that gun oil does is keeps this right here from rusting and you won't have to worry about trying to dig it out or clean it out or anything you need to take this top part right here off Again, spray it with some gun oil. That way to keep it from rusting when it gets wet. Now in here in the bottom, there's a screw right there. You're going to have to take that screw off. Really dirty down in there. Put that in your parts bucket. That'd really suck if that screw right there got rusted to this. I don't think you could get it off. Now, this nut right here, it holds the top of your, of its own. It can be a pain sometimes to get off. After you break it, again, put it in the parts bucket. Now, this right here, you're going to have to wiggle a little bit to get it off. Be a little forceful with it. Now that we got that off, look how dirty it is down in there. We're going to clean it pretty good. 
try to get most of the dirt and the grime out of it. Clean all this off. Now you want to take some gun oil, 3-in-1 oil, put it on your screws and everything. Maybe. This is going to ensure your screws don't rust to your reel. I don't know if everybody knows this or not, but this is a bearing right here. That's what makes your line slide good when it spools on your spool. So you want to make sure and oil it also. Ah, so much better. What do you think? Set it right here. Next, so you, you'll want to take your handle off. Now, see, all this right here, just take your toothbrush, clean all that out around through there. Now, the reason you want to clean all this off is because it's old grease. Clean the shaft off. Wipe everything off. Now, what a lot of people don't know is right down the bottom right there, in the bottom of that, is a bunch of bearings you don't put grease on bearings you put oil on bearings all these bearings get fresh oil now, the next thing you want to do is you want to take this plate off. Screws also go in the bucket. I just don't want to come off. There we go. Come off, and that's what we got right there. Everything in it. Now see, this is another sealed bearings. But, like I said before, it don't hurt to go ahead and soak these reseal bearings so they don't rust. Ooh. Looking like there's no grease in here just about at all. It's all getting gummed up. So we're going to go get some, we're going to get some Q-tips and we'll be back. All right, guys, got some Q-tips. Let's start getting some of this old grease out.
All right. Now, before you put all this together, you need to remember one thing. There's another bearing right here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's another bearing in this side that helps a reel. So, we're going to take this oil. Make sure it gets in there to that bearing. So you have an easy time reeling. Ah, starting to look better already. Alright now, when you go to re-grease these gears, I've got some pin oil that I ordered, I mean grease, some pin grease that I ordered, and you don't want to over grease these gears and stuff, you just want to put enough to lubricate everything. Now this pin grease is resistant to high heat and abrasion, so it's really good for your gears and stuff. Helps everything keep moving. Sticks to everything pretty good too. Put that Q-tip in the trash. Wipe all this out and off. Now for the parts. You want to get your bearing and put it back in the side of this. Put it back together. Put all the screws in. But we're going to skip through this. Because this is YouTube. So we're going to make this quick. Now, I'm putting this little screw in right here. I found that it's a lot easier just to go ahead and put it on the screwdriver. Balance it. Hold the reel upside down. And screw it in. If it is going to screw in. Just like that. Give me some light here. Just hold it upside down. Stick it in that hole. Because if you try to hold it like this, it's going to keep on falling out and you're going to get irritated.
and that's it. All right, guys. This real reel is ten times better than what it did. Still a little stiff, but I think that's just because of wear and tear. But I've had this reel for about three years now. And if you've seen some of my videos, I brag about bait casters a lot. But there's certain things a bait caster can't do. If you're trying to run slip floats with a a uni knot joining the line, it's hard to throw them with live bait on them because the eyes are so small. And you got to put so much force into a casting rod. With the spinning reels, the eyes are bigger and you can run up to a 9 foot leader line. Most people call it a shock line. And that's really why I like using a spin reel for live bait. Now, if you have a different way that you maintenance your reels or what kind of product you use, let me know. And I'll sure experiment with them. Now, come to the end of the program where I say, keep on doing what you love and love what you do. And check out Mike Baker at Catfish and Pro for all your fishing needs. Rods, reels, I've got both of them. Going to be ordering some circle hoods for, from him and give him a run. Do some tests on them. Maybe do one of my old tests where I take a sledgehammer and nail it into a railroad tie and see how much damage it does. But till again, this is Hack to Fish and I'm out. Hey.